you about an incident happened during ancient times which mentions about time travel. Wikipedia describes time travel is the concept of movement between certain points in time analogous to movement between different points in space. Albert Einstein for example concluded in his later years that the past, present and future all exist simultaneously and most of us are familiar with his well known concept of relativity. That is, the time is relative and not absolute as Newton claimed. With the proper technology, such as a very fast spaceship, one person is able to experience several days while another person simultaneously experiences only a few hours or minutes. Now I'll tell you legend of Kakudmi. In the mid Satya Yuga, there lived a king of the solar dynasty by name Kakudmi and his beautiful daughter Revati. Kakudmi was of pure character and a benevolent ruler. He had a very beautiful daughter named Revati, endowed with all auspicious qualities. Kakudmi's daughter Revati was so beautiful and so accomplished that when she reached a mari- marriageable age, Kakudmi, thinking no one upon earth was worthy of her, he went to the creator himself, Lord Brahma, to seek his advice about a suitable husband for his daughter. Although considered human, Kakudmi seemed to have been endowed with mystic powers not found in ordinary humans today. Kakudmi was able to take his daughter Revati with him and travel to Brahma Loka and to speak with Brahma at will. When they arrived to Brahma Loka, Lord Brahma was listening to a musical performance by the Gandharvas. So they waited patiently for some time until the performance was finished. Then Kakudmi bowed humbly, made his request and presented his short list of candidates for his son-in-law. Brahma laughed loudly and explained that time runs differently on different planes of existence and that during the short time they had waited in Brahma Loka to see him, 27 Chatur Yugas had passed on earth. Brahma said to Kakudmi, O King, all those whom you may have decided within the core of your heart to accept as your son-in-law have died in the course of time. Twenty-seven Chaturyugas have already passed. Those upon whom you may have already decided are now gone, and so are their sons, grandsons and other descendants. You cannot even hear about their names. You must therefore bestow their this virgin gem that is Revati upon some other husband for you now alone and your friends, your ministers, servants, wives, kinsmen, armies and treasures have long since been swept away by the hands of time. King Kakudmi was overcome with astonishment and alarm at hearing this news. However, Brahma comforted him and added that Vishnu, the preserver, was currently incarnated on earth in the forms of Balrama and Krishna and he recommended Balrama as a worthy husband for Revati. Kakudmi and Revati became happy, then returned to earth which they regarded as having left only just a short while ago. They were shocked by the changes that had taken place. Not only had the landscape and environment changed but over the intervening 27 Chaturgas in the cycles of human spiritual and cultural evolution, mankind was at a lower level of development than in their own time. The Bhagavad Purana describes that they found the race of men had become dwindled in stature, reduced in vigor and enfeebled in intellect. Daughter and father found Balrama and proposed the marriage which was accepted. The marriage was then duly celebrated 